Hey everybody, this is Greg Comparic of TechCrunch.com. We're looking at something kind of cool. So this, you know, you might look at this and say, Greg, this is the Nexus S. This has been on the shelf for months. What are you doing? You're, you're stupid. Uh, the special thing about this Nexus S is that it's already Google Wallet enabled. Uh, today, Google's announcing that they are officially launching Google Wallet exclusively on the Sprint Nexus S. Uh, the Nexus S has a little NFC chip in the back. Uh, allowing me to, you know, go around in the real world locations and tap against a credit card reader and pay with my phone like some sort of magician. But I uh, will jump in here to wallet and it says, hey, you haven't been in this app in a while. Who the hell are you? Why are you trying to use Greg's money? So I got to punch in my pin. Uh, it's not my real world pin, so don't try and hack my bank accounts and take all my monies. But uh, it launches to this screen right here. Uh, payment cards, loyalty cards, my offers and history. We'll jump into payment cards. You see this nice little carousel that has all the cards that you currently have. And I only have one card right now, which is the Google prepaid card. But uh, you can add a Citibank MasterCard. You can add a gift card. Right now, the only store they support gift cards for is American Eagle. Uh, but Google promises more on the way. So let's tap into my prepaid card. As you can see, I've got a fantastic $3.33. So I'm fully prepped to make it rain. Uh, down here below, user ID is loading. That's just a unique user ID for that card. Uh, this little green dot right here just means that this is set as my default card. So if I use this, oops, if I use this, it uh, will automatically use this card first uh, if I had multiple cards. But one of the clever things is that if I had a gift card and I went to one of those locations, it would know, you know, use my gift card instead of my default card. Click in here to loyalty cards. And same thing, the only uh, one it supports right now is American Eagle but more on the way. Uh, it's going to be kind of nice once they do have more because I'm really tired of having to carry around loyalty cards. Uh, my offers just shows you all the things you've bought through Google Shopper, which is their kind of local deals thing. I haven't bought any yet. And then history. History is a little bit basic right now. It just gives you kind of a timestamp for activity. Uh, it doesn't show you where you bought something or how much uh, you, you spent or anything like that. It's just very, very bare bones. Uh, Google has acknowledged that this is a little bit too simple and that they're going to be working on that pretty quick, but this is just, you know, the first run. So jump back out here. You have Shopper. That helps you find local deals. Uh, it's pretty slick. You know, you can look at today's offer, nearby offers. Uh, nothing too unique there. And PayPass Locator lets you find uh, places that are compatible with this NFC system nearby. Uh, if I were to do one near me. Uh, it would just show you that there are lots of jack-in-the-boxes and 7-Elevens near me, which is really the, the main people that support those right now. So that's about it. I'm going to do a, sh a separate video just showing me actually buying something with this. So tune into that. Thanks a bunch. This is Greg Imperic of TechCrunch.com.